Like all living things, viruses are constantly changing and evolving. A mutation is where the genetic information that is stored inside an organism changes. Many global outbreaks of pandemics, from smallpox to swine flu, that have happened in recent history are thought to have been caused by viruses previously only found in animals. After mutating, the viruses become capable of infecting humans. In November 2002, doctors in the Guangdong province of China saw the first cases of SARS or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. Over the next several months, 8,096 people in 26 countries worldwide contracted a novel viral illness, leading to 774 deaths. So how exactly did SARS spread? SARS-CoV appears to originate in animals. Virological studies indicate that wild cats called civets, along with two other wildlife animals from a live animal market, were infected with SARS-CoV. These animals then exposed humans to the virus. Horseshoe bats have also been identified as natural reservoirs of SARS-like coronavirus. How does this virus achieve these interspecies jumps? While the specifics differ, the mechanism relies on the same fundamental premise, access and ability of the virus to the host cell. Can a virus reach the cells of its host? And can the virus's proteins recognize and bind with structures known as receptors on those cells? If so, that is all it takes. The virus can now enter the cell and begin to replicate, infecting the host. Coronaviruses have become quite good at figuring out how to use these receptors to gain entry to their host cells. The viruses use a surface glycoprotein, a protein with sugars attached, called a spike protein, to bind to host cells. This protein gives the virus a crown-like appearance, which is where the corona in its name comes from. The part of the protein that does the actual binding is called a S1 subunit and can vary considerably allowing the virus to bind to many different mammalian host species. What can we do to protect ourselves? You can catch a virus by directly breathing in virus-laden droplets in the air or by touching contaminated surfaces and then infecting your nose, mouth and eyes, whose mucous membranes serve as entry sites. So keep yourself safe by washing your hands and avoid touching your face mouth and eyes. Socially distance yourself from other people. This will avoid situations where you can become the carrier of the virus and spread it amongst communities.